welcome back. You know, with the recent FDA and CDC approvals of COVID-19 vaccines for children five and under, many parents are considering getting their little ones vaccinated. And some parents also might be wondering if it's even worth getting the vaccine for their child in this age group, since many don't often get severely ill. Well, here was some important information. Dr. Hannah Jaworski, she's the Division Chief for Pediatrics, and Mary Zimmerman, she's a lead immunization program specialist with Spectrum Health. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with you, Dr. Jaworski. Let's talk about the importance. Uh, is it important for children five and under to get vaccinated after, of course, we just heard a lot of kids have already gotten sick, they don't get severely ill. How important is this? Thanks, thanks for asking that question. It is still very, very important for children under the age of five to be vaccinated against COVID-19. And this is actually a very exciting time for this particular age group because it does provide that additional layer of protection. This is a, an age group that based on their age oftentimes cannot do some of the other protective measures like masking, um, they may be participating in daycare or other areas where they're around a number of other children. We know in daycare settings, oftentimes we, we share infections. They kind of run rampant through different daycare classrooms. This is just another layer of protection for these children, which is very exciting. While yes, I would agree a number of kids do not become severely ill, to say that none do is, is just not true. And in fact, we have seen that over the last six months, especially with Omicron, um, the children that were most likely to be hospitalized were those that were unvaccinated. And so to be able to take another age group and provide that additional layer of protection is so wonderful. And now, of course, that immunity spreads beyond the, the child as well. And so we know that with a child comes a family that takes care of them and and that additional protection that, that that can provide for anyone else in the family that might um, be at higher risk for more significant illness or severe illness is, is also really important. Um, so many, many reasons to, to be excited about this, this new um, group of kids that can be vaccinated. And a follow-up question there, how much of the vaccine do kids in that age group receive and are they gonna need a booster as well? I know grownups were I I encouraged to get a booster. Absolutely. I'm going to turn that question over to Mary, who is our vaccine specialist, Good and she'll morning, go through Mary. a lot of the details of those differences. Good morning. <clears throat> yeah, so currently um, there are two FDA authorized vaccines. One is the Pfizer vaccine for six months through four years. And then there's the Moderna vaccine, and that is six months through five years. Um, so those are both available with the Pfizer vaccine. They get a, a three microgram dose, which is about a 10th of the adult dose. And with the Moderna vaccine, they get about a quarter of the adult dose. And let's talk about the efficacy of these. Obviously we were hearing percentages for the uh, adults vaccinations. How effective are the kids vaccines? Hannah, do you wanna answer that or you want me to get that one? I, I would say they they are very effective. And, and honestly, we're seeing better rates of immunity with the immunization itself compared to the natural illness and natural disease, which is very important when we think about being able to have that longer lasting protection. Um, as we continue to see different strains of COVID come through our communities, being able to have that still be effective when we have additional strains come through becomes incredibly important. Well, I know many people have been waiting for this day. Others, you know, still on the fence looking for more information. If somebody's making that decision and they do want to vaccinate their child five and under, where can they do that? Do they need to schedule an appointment? Uh, can you just walk in? Is it the same as the grownups? Yeah, I, I'm really happy to say that parents can currently schedule Pfizer vaccine for their six months through four year olds at any Spectrum Health primary care office. Uh, they can either schedule through their MyChart account or call the office for an appointment. Uh, they also will have the option for a curbside visit if they choose to do that. If parents prefer the Moderna or the two dose series, that'll be available next week through our urgent care centers. Um, Walk-in appointments will be available through our urgent care centers, but all other locations will require appointments. And Mary, quick follow-up. I apologize if I missed it, if you said it earlier, but you, you mentioned one is, a, is one a two dose, a two shot, when one's a one shot, or are they both two? 
So the Pfizer vaccine is a three dose oh, series my, okay. in that age range. And the Moderna, Moderna vaccine is a two dose series. Well, I know which one the kids would go for. <laughs> 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 Dr. Chorsky, Mary, thank you so much for the time and for the information this morning. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. If that's you, you want to learn uh, more about this, you want to schedule that appointment, get that vaccination for your child, just head to spectrumhealth.org.